In an effort to look and feel your best, there are two big things that you need to do. The first thing is one that I'm pretty sure everyone understands, and that is to dress well, because your style tells people something about you. The second thing is something that I think people might tend to overlook, and that is to take care of your grooming, because that tells people that you care. We wanna make sure we're doing the right things though, so to help you dial that in, today I'm gonna to go over eight common grooming mistakes that guys make. I'm Brian Sakawa, and you are watching He Spoke Style, where we give you the information and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. The first grooming mistake that guys make is not balding gracefully. Listen, losing your hair at any age is a huge change, and one that can weigh really heavily on you. You might think, I'm getting old now, or I'm not gonna be as attractive as I was with a full head of hair. So you start doing things to kind of hide it combing over the bald spot you're getting, wearing a hat more often, basically trying as hard as you can to hang on to what you previously had. I think the thing about balding though is that it means more to you than it does to everyone else. Personally, friends I've seen go through this look so much better and more confident when they embrace what's happening and just get rid of their hair. It could be a really tight buzz with the clippers or it could be a complete head shave. As hard as it's going to be, you have to embrace this change, lean into it, uh, it will become your look, and you will just look and feel more confident when you commit to letting go of that hair you're losing. Grooming mistake number two that guys make is using too much product. And here, I'm actually gonna combine both hair products and fragrance. So we've all seen the guy with too much hair gel in his hair, and we've all certainly smelled the dude who wears way too much cologne. Hope that's not you. Now, I've heard some people say before that there's a fine line between getting it just right and overdoing it. I don't necessarily agree with that. In my opinion, subtlety is always best. You want your hair to look natural, not matted in big clumps and super shiny. And in terms of fragrance, I think it should be intriguing. It should invite people in for more, not repel them immediately. All right, so for the third grooming mistake that guys make, what I'll say first is that I totally understand why people make this mistake, because it's something you have to do towards the end of the night, and after a long day, you're tired, you're completely tapped out, all you want to do is to get into bed and go to sleep, but if you are not doing this one thing, you are making a huge mistake, and that one thing is failing to wash and moisturize your face at night. Of course, we all do this every morning because it's part of our routine, but you really need to make washing and moisturizing your face part of your nighttime routine as well. You're gonna get rid of all that stuff that's built up on your face throughout the day, and moisturizing is critically important because when you're sleeping, that is when your skin is repairing itself and recovering. Getting into a skincare routine like this is super easy, especially if you know exactly what to do. And that is one of the reasons why I love Tej Hanley, a brand I'm proud to partner with as a sponsor for today's video as a skincare solution because they make it so easy and uncomplicated. I mean, here's what I'm talking about. When you open up the box, the first thing you see is a card telling you exactly what to do and when. All you really need is their basic plan, which includes a face cleanser, exfoliating scrub, AM and PM moisturizer, and I know we're talking about nighttime skincare routine here, but the AM moisturizer also has SPF, which you'll need throughout the day to be protected from the sun. Personally, because I'm a 43-year-old guy, I like to kind of take it up a notch, so I always opt for the Tej Hanley Level 3 system, which also adds in a firming serum and eye cream. I've been using Tej religiously for about nine months now, and I have to tell you that the difference I see and feel in my skin is absolutely incredible. And I'm not just saying that. Go back and watch some of my old videos from about a year ago, and you'll definitely pick up on what I'm putting down. Now, in addition to amazing benefits to your skin, when you join Tej Hanley, you get access to tons of perks as well, including 25% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, shipping reminders, the option to pause or cancel at any time, no hassle refunds, and free US shipping. And for my international viewers, Tej does offer low-cost shipping to most countries. 
And because Tej Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and not only will you get Tej Hanley for the best possible price, but they'll also give you a free gift with your first box. So click that link to get started for just $25. Okay, moving on to grooming mistake number four. And this, I would say, is kind of an affliction for those who are really trying to keep their costs down and be economical. And I'm talking about not changing your razor blades enough. If you're using a dull razor blade, you are subjecting yourself to pain, irritation, and potential issues like ingrown hairs. Now, if you use one of those cartridge systems with multiple blades, I totally understand trying to stretch the lifespan of these things because they're not cheap. That's why I always like to recommend shaving with a safety razor. Uh, you're going to have a little bit of an upfront investment for the razor itself, but then the blades are just so cheap. You know, uh, you can get a pack of 10 feather blades, which are the ones that I like to use for $10. And if you only change your blade once a week, you can see how much sense that makes to have a close, clean, and comfortable shave every time. Grooming mistake number five is shaving against the grain. Now, maybe if you have some really tough skin, this isn't a problem for you, but for a lot of us, myself included, our skin is a little more sensitive and shaving against the grain can cause a number of problems, including irritation, redness, razor bumps, and ingrown hairs, which are the worst. Now, shaving against the grain does give you a closer shave and it's why people do it, but I would say that if you are having trouble getting a close shave going with the grain, I would encourage you to try one, a safety razor with a double-edged blade, and two, also pay attention to the way your hair grows because I'll bet you that it grows in different directions on different parts of your face and neck. Grooming mistake number six that guys make. Now listen, I'm gonna preface this by saying that anyone who puts time into their appearance is doing the right thing, but you don't wanna be the guy who looks like he puts too much time and effort into that. I'm talking about the too perfectly edged beard or super chiseled hair, it just doesn't look natural and it comes across like you're trying too hard. Grooming mistake number seven that guys make is neglecting to trim their nose and ear hair. You know, you're putting all this time and effort into how you dress. You're thinking about all those other grooming things, but don't forget your nose hair and your ear hair. And I'm talking especially to us older guys because we know that hair in these areas seems to grow a little quicker and a little more than it used to. So if, if you subscribe to the mantra that the devil is in the details and that it's the small details that matter most, consider trimming your nose and ear hair to be those small finishing touches that make a huge difference. Grooming mistake number eight that guys make is neglecting their fingernails. I've been told that a guy's fingernails are something that women look at. So you gotta keep them clean, no dirt under there. You wanna keep them trimmed. That's easy to do and pay attention to your cuticles. Now, I'm gonna tell you that this is something that I personally need to be a little bit better at. And I'll also tell you that there is nothing wrong with getting a manicure. Don't knock it until you try it. You will see a humongous difference. So there you have it. Those are eight grooming mistakes that guys make. Thanks once again to Tej Hanley for sponsoring this video and reminder to click the link down below in the description to give Tej a try for yourself and receive a free gift with your first box.